Let's learn more about the variables in this part. Of course, I'm going to cover the variables in a separate video. However, there is something I would like to talk about it in this part because I believe it's going to help us along the way. So let's start fresh. As I explained earlier, if you wanted to assign a new variable, let's say x equals to 3, and then you need another one, if you prefer that the results will not be reflected back to MATLAB, uh, we learned that we can suppress the output in this way. We definitely are able to define new variables on the same line. So let's say x multiplied by y, and another one, let's go with d equals x minus y so we define some variables new ones and because i forgot to put the last semicolon the last one was reflected but actually if i wanted to do the last calculation and i don't like because i forgot to put the semicolon for the last one the result came out and i just didn't like it so if i wanted to calculate everything and start fresh is to do clc and just clear everything and then come here double click on it and put semicolon right for example if i say clc let me show you and then i come here double click on it it's going to be executed but i didn't want that that operation to show me the result but actually there is no way i can do that because if i bring everything here it's going to be calculated well one way to do it is to click on this operation and then drag drop it here without pressing enter now you have the option to go around and just do the revising whatever you need to do and then add things on it to correct ourselves another easy way that i suggest you from now on just get habit of using that is using your arrow keys if i want to calculate the previous operation the only thing i need to do is to press the up arrow key on your keyboard so if I do that, the last one comes in. If I do it one more time, one operation before that comes in. So if I keep repeating that, the operations as the order I had performed them will appear here. Definitely I can do it backwards. So if I need that, I can easily calculate that or let's go with, I want to clear everything. Let's do this one again. I'm just pressing my up arrow key. This is really an easy and interesting way to find the last calculations we've done and reuse them again. The other thing that I already talked about was the operation who will give us the list of the variables that we use, we used already in our homework or project. Therefore, we're not able to use these things. I'm definitely able to say A equals 2 and the value will be changed or A equals to 76, the value will be changed. However, I should be careful not to overwrite my previous calculations, especially when you write a program. In a program, the variables are defined once and, and the variable name is not shared with others. Therefore, we should be careful not to overwrite our variables. Another operation that is useful is whose. So an, add another S to the last operation who and if you hit enter now it will give you more information so a size is one by one which is a number a scalar and i'm going to explain about the vector and matrices in future videos the bytes is eight class is double and i'm going to explain all this stuff you can get more information about your used variable by who which gives you a list and whose which gives you more information and other stuff about the size and the class and even more information. Thank you and I will see you next video.